Come bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth give to you his blessing out of Zion. Thus may the Lord Almighty, our God and Saviour, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. For our help is in the name of this Lord, who made the heavens and the earth. As we come to the end of this day, we acknowledge our need of forgiveness. And so together we say, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us, by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. With the confidence that our requests are answered, we say, before the ending of this day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. But before we sleep, we long to hear from God in his word, and tonight we listen, listen to Psalm 106, verses 2 and 48, which read, who can proclaim the mighty acts of the Lord, or fully declare his praise? Yet may everlasting praise be to the Lord, the God of his people. The psalm writer knows that when we have said everything about the Lord, we've really said nothing at all. For God's being and ways transcend the highest human thought. But in this psalm he attempts it anyway, by retelling the testimony of his people. We too are called to the same unending worship, for we also have a story to tell. Our Lord and God words fail, our thoughts flee and our hearts are overwhelmed before your ineffable greatness and power. But in the darkness we see, conceive and feel enough to join the chorus of eternal praise. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. So may the Lord our God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit bless us and watch over us. May the Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. May the Lord look kindly on us and give to us his peace. <laughs>